Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog. Startwithelaine.com, and welcome to episode 11 of 12 in my 2019 Countdown to Christmas series. In my video, in episode 655, which I published on the 6th of September, I showcased this Cuckoo for You bundle. I made these cards, they're interactive cards, so if you push it, the a uh, little door opens and you see the little cuckoo up there. This is the Christmas one and this is just the ordinary version. The original bundle was in the annual catalogue on page 29. I'm thrilled to see that they've incorporated a gingerbread house in the autumn winter catalogue. It's on page 23 and it's called Yummy Christmas which uses the same dies. And this is what we're going to be making today. It's a little favour box that you can put on your table setting. To create the box base, you need some soft suede cardstock. This has been cut at seven and a half inches by three and one eighth. In metric, that's 19.1 by 7.9 centimetres. You need the cuckoo clock dies, and we're just going to be using the gingerbread house die and you need to die cut two in soft suede and one in whisper white. You'll also need some tuxedo black memento ink, stamping blends and the ones I'm using are shaded spruce combo, soft suede combo, crumb cake combo, real red combo and the mango melody combo. 3 by 6 or 7.6 by 15.2 centimetre gusseted cellophane bag, very vanilla copper half inch uh, or 1.3 centimetre classic weave ribbon, holiday rhinestones, thick whisper white uh, cardstock. We need to stamp an extra snowman, not snowman, gingerbread man. Um, to put on the house. I'm also going to be using my Stamparatus. Now I've cut a card blank and die cut the gingerbread house so it means that I can do multiples. Okay. Um, die cut a whole load of um, blanks and stamp my gingerbread house outline. like so. I'm just going to partially ink that up so I can stamp oh, wrong side. Partially ink that up so I can stamp the gingerbread man and fussy cut it. Now I'm going to do a bit of scoring for the box base. This is <coughs> On the long side, seven and a half inches by three and one eighth inches. I am going to score at two inches. Three and a half inches. Five and a half inches. And seven inches. On the short side, score at one and a half inches. So this is one and a half here. And I'll just run through the metric. So that would be 5, 8.9, 14 and 17.8 centimetres. And then quarter turn anti-clockwise and score at is 3.8 centimetres. Quickly reinforce the score lines. One and a half inch um, distance between there and there, that's the bottom of your box. So you want to cut off that small rectangle and just angle it 
and then cut up to the first score line all the way along. With a small tab on the right, put some double sided tape on there. and seal it together so that's the back so this is the flap that goes last because this will be the front it doesn't really matter anyway because um, it will be hidden a bit of adhesive Glue that down, that's your box base. Now the pre-die cut houses that I had. So you want one to cover the base of the box. So just, you want to glue it so that it's um, touching this curve here and that it's equal distance between that side and that side. A bit of adhesive. And apply adhesive to the front of the box as well. Make sure they're level. So set that aside and we can colour in our other house. I'm going to pop a silicone mat uh, underneath because using alcohol pens it tends to bleed. So first we're going to colour the gingerbread house and just by the roof line um, I'm going to use the darker soft suede. Next I'm going to colour the um, icing bits here in Mango Melody. Next I'm going to colour the candy cane. I've done all the red, um, so now I'll do the shaded spruce. I made a bit of a boo-boo here and I coloured the wrong one. Oops, I think I've missed this window here. So let's do that. So last thing to do is the little gingerbread. So this is Dark Mango Melody on his arms buttons and then this time switch to crumb cake first you cut the gingerbread man So just pop a dimensional on the back of the gingerbread man and pop him onto him here 
and then get the rhinestone and pop that on the doorknob and then <coughs> adhesive so you're giving this double strength by putting two layers in then all you have to do is Pop some chocolates Oop. throwing them away <laughs> and wind it round once and pull it tight or tie a bow. So make sure the words are the right way up. Grab a scissors and trim it off. And pop it into a little box. So that's episode 11 in my Countdown to Christmas series, um, some table favours. I think these are so cute, I love them. Thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. And you'll also find the links in my online store below this video. Thanks for watching, bye.